my last question for you. This will be our last topic. Can you help founders with their sales? Like you actually will go in and be a fractional salesperson. You've done that in the past. At what point in time should a founder consider bringing somebody on? Because I know founders are tempted. I don't like sales. They say, I'm technical. I don't like sales. And I say, you got to learn to do founder-led sales. But at what point is it wise or unwise to bring someone like you on to help with fractional sales? There's there's a difference between hiring a fractional CRO, VP of sales, whatever you want to call it. There's a difference between that and then getting somebody to help guide you through the process, you know, to do consulting. I do both. I actually consult founders on how to do it themselves. There's nobody better at selling a product than the founder themselves. There's no better person. Whether they feel that they're not a salesperson or not, They just need to be coached into the form of nobody knows your solution better than you. Whatever you're selling, nobody knows it better than you because this is your baby. Nobody cares about it more. Until until a founder can truly feel that they understand the message that they want somebody else to convey, never have somebody else come in and say, well, I can take your product to market better than you can. Thank you. You have to master that before you have somebody else try to sell it for you. Because remember... They don't have the passion like you. They don't have the knowledge like you. You're giving them 20%. It's the 80-20 rule. You know 100% of everything, but they're only going to really capture about 20% of the essence of what they're trying to sell. They're just going to go out there and put it into numbers. And that's where if you don't have your stuff up, they're going to be getting bad messaging and you're going to fail. There's not a time limit. I would actually say go out and get your first, second, third, you know, as many early customers as you can yourself. And if you need the coaching, invest in a VP of sales or, or somebody that does sales consulting. Do not go to a an online service that does email generation and all those other things. Because again, until you get your message down, it's going to fall on deaf ears. Same thing with, with doing SEO type stuff. Until you have your messaging and everything done, you need somebody to help you. And that's why it's great for me, you know, as as a VP of sales or a fractional sales, I also know fractional marketing people, you do not want to make a huge investment into a sales or marketing organization. And so you know exactly how you want your business to be taken into the market. Yeah, because they'll burn your money trying to figure it out. Like that's the reason they tell you, listen, you need three months commitment. And then we're going to roll that into six and nine months to keep figuring it out. And after they fall on their face, after the first two months, they're going to say, yeah, no, we got good results. And you're going to feel this sunk cost fallacy come into play. And you're going to see a little tiny tweak. And sure, maybe things increase by 5%. You're going to think, oh, maybe I should stay on this. And they're going to keep bleeding you dry. But with what Ken's talking about, find someone who's going to help guide you through the process and figure it out yourself. But how about you get everything lined up and then hand it to someone to optimize it because maybe they got more experience beyond you. That's what I would recommend Right there with you, Ken. I could not have said it better myself. Don't do it until you have figured out yourself. Yeah, and, and until you are comfortable with taking that hat off completely, when when you can actually not be a part of of the sales process is when you hire a full time organization to support you. Because then you then you should have layers between you and the sales organization where you can focus your time on the vision of the and the strategy of the company because you've already put that all together. You mentioned that it's all about coaching first. It's better to have somebody coach you for 20 minutes yeah. than it is to have somebody come in and you pay them $5,000 to do a week of sales activities. You're, you're throwing money into a hole mm-hmm. until if you're weak in trying to figure out your messaging, you find a specialist that will help coach you to discover it. But if you're asking somebody to do it for you, you like you said, you have to have the baseline and you can, you can have somebody optimize it. of the work needs to be done. And then they come in and put the 20% polish on top of it. And then you take it and you go and find the right fit person because 99% of of startups fail. And this is my own statistic. I'm guessing this, but I would say 99% of failures when, when they go out and they hire their first salesperson to come in and run the organization, they didn't get the right person with the right fit on how they sell for your culture and for your goals. Yes. Because if you hire the wrong person that is toxic, you have set yourself back by years, not by months, but by years, because you're going to have to clean up that mess that person produces for you. Hire somebody to help you choose the right fit of an individual. That's another service that I do. And I'm not trying to pitch that from, you know, from my standpoint, but I'm telling you, you have somebody who is knowledgeable that knows the right questions to ask these people during the interview process. Everybody gets burned by somebody that sees Oracle. Oh, you worked at Oracle? Are you worked at Amazon? You worked at you know, DoorDash? 
Yeah. Oh, then you must be a guru because you know everything. 90% of those people that graduate from the big name operations, Microsoft and so forth, they've learned name recognition gets them in the door. True. And then they go through the sales process that that organization put together for them. And they can't even think on their own. They're basically an order taker. That's all that they are. But because they worked at those big organizations, they did tens of millions of dollars in revenue. They must know everything wrong. You find somebody that did a zero to a million dollars with a startup. Yeah. And that's the person that you hire and you get the references and you validate that they actually did it from the founders that hired them before. And you build a relationship with that founder and learn from their their mistakes and from their victories. So that's, that's I mean, I would mic drop just off of that right there is, you know, making sure you're hiring the right individual before you commit. Think about it. The first CRO is going to want equity because, you know, they're coming into a new, I mean, you're going to give up equity. You're going to give up your, your, your name, your, you know, your reputation. That is the biggest, that is the biggest step that people, you know, they just, they want to jump in because they want to get a salesperson out there selling for them. Oh, they're going to save, they're going to save us our struggling company because they know how to make sales. And we don't, if you're struggling, you go find somebody to help coach you through your struggles because it could be as simple as maybe you're just not doing the right sales process. Maybe you're trying to, maybe you're, maybe you're a B2B and not a B2C. You know, maybe you chose the wrong client profile or you know, our customer profile. And you need to revisit that. There's nothing wrong with that. Always be adapting to the market to where it's going to tell you where to go. Right on. Love the passion, love sharing, love hearing it all. Ken, I'm going to give you the last word here to share with us. We are building a platform that I believe founders at startups.com are going to want, especially those B2B founders. Give us the pitch. I'm giving you the floor. And obviously, you've been so generous with everybody. So we're not doing this because we just want to put cash in Ken's pocket, but it's going to help Ken validate his product more. It's going to help us. Give us the pitch, Ken, on how we can participate with you and what you're building. Let me let me first by by prefacing that, that my focus is generally products is it's gonna be north of about fifty thousand dollars. You know, this is gonna be higher end, you know, opportunities. But if you're building the next SaaS product that's gonna make business easier for people and you're needing others to go and be your first early adoption and stuff like that. If you actually come to our, you know, come to Rapport, we're going to help coach you to go and find those organizations that actually want to meet startups that want to be innovative. Come introduce yourself to me and let us kind of know where your visions are, where your strategies are and stuff like that. And we'll help you go to market. But I'm trying to, or not me, my team. I, I have to talk about my team because I have a team now. <laughs> my team is trying to make sure that we change commodity purchasing and transactional purchasing and make this to where we're building relationships. And if you come you know, to, to Rapport and you listen to us and let us help coach you into interacting with these buyers, we're going to help you. Now, that doesn't mean that you know in a year or two, you don't come in on the buyer side as well to where you go out and buy those technologies. We're going to help you find the right fit for that new sales process, you know, that sales software or whatever it may be that, that you're looking for. From a founder side, we're trying to take the lead generation. Instead of you paying for a list of names you're going to go and cold call, we're going to treat it more like a dating website. We're going to make sure that we find people that are looking for you we're going to get that introduction handled now and and we're going to be supportive of you and we're going to help you find those initial people but but also we're going to help you scale your business that's where we're really going to help is help you with the scaling in, be in between now and then come to me in startups schedule one-on-one -on -one with me and i'm happy to talk you through and help you get those clients thank you so much ken i know this is so valuable and you just sharing your experience there we really appreciate you appreciate what you're going to do and everything in the future